Despite being hugely famous James Bond star Daniel Craig and his Oscar-winning wife Rachel Weisz keep their family private and little is known about their home life or their rarely seen daughter, although Rachel has shared snippets over the years. The couple's desire for privacy even extended to their 2011 wedding, which, rather than being a big celebrity affair, was incredibly intimate. Only four people attended the ceremony in New York including the couple's children from previous relationships, which set the tone for their low-key life together. I never thought I would get married, Rachel said in a 2018 interview with The Standard. It was not an ambition of mine. It was the opposite. I couldn't relate to romantic comedies, marriage seems to be the whole point of them. Then it just happened, happily, at a more mature moment. However, she has now come around to the idea telling the New York Times, I'm very happy being married. Very, very happy. I love being Mrs. Greg. Madonna performance mistaken for karaoke impersonator as fans left divided, latest, the couple split their time between their three homes in Camden, London, Brooklyn, New York and their lesser known dwelling in Marble Town, Ulster County also in New York. Not much is known about their third home but the Hollywood Reporter claimed that Rachel paid $2. 1 million for the house. It is situated near the historic Woodstock and is a favorite area of celebrities looking for a bolt hole. In 2018 they welcomed a daughter, Grace, and although she is rarely seen Rachel has said that the child looks a lot like Daniel. In addition, Rachel shares her son, Henry, with her former partner, director Darren Aronofsky, while Daniel is also a father to 31-year-old daughter, Ella, from his previous marriage to actress Fiona Loudon. Don't miss! Duran Duran's Andy Taylor in mind-blowing cancer news as he dodged a bullet, listen, Anne Hegerty admits chasers have a hidden WhatsApp group to be about bosses, exclusive Ellie Goulding astounds fans as she keeps singing after being hit with firework, watch, Rachel's son lives with the couple and the actress has previously opened up about the chaos in her morning routine in an interview with The Guardian. She admitted it was the usual morning chaos getting a teenager and toddler organized. In April she also shared that Daniel and their daughter had been bonding over Star Wars. Speaking on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert she explained that her James Bond star husband had been binge-watching the sci-fi movies with the tot. It was like a father-daughter, kind of bonding experience, and they started on the original ones, she revealed. My daughter got obsessed. Like, she kept saying, Google this. Google this. What does Darth Vader look like under his mask? Explaining that the child had become a little too fixated with Star Wars she and Daniel decided it was best to pause the binge watching for now. Rachel has also confessed that the couple alternate acting jobs so that one of them is always around to parent the youngster. Speaking on an episode of Sunday Today back in April she was asked if she had any plans to work with her husband again having last appeared on screen with him in Dream House in 2011 and later on stage in Betrayal in 2013. I think we aren't going to at the moment, she said. I think we really love our private life as a life, as a family, and then we go to work separately. We really enjoyed that experience, working together, but I think it's nicer too, it also means we can alternate. So, I can stay home with the family while he works, we can swap out. If we're both doing something at the same time, it's probably less ideal, 